today is the 19th of April, 2019. Here at Riverview Park. That there is the riverfront. Everybody's happy to get out. It's just about maybe 30, 45 minutes since my first video, and this is the difference in the park already. Usually this over here flows from the pond into the river, but now the river's flowing into the retaining pond. Can't wait to see what all splashes up and winds up on the shore that might be worth laughing about anyway. camera keeps wanting to fight with me when I try to zoom in. But man, look at all the waves and stuff going on out there. It's just huge compared to what, what you ever really see over here. I'm sorry about being a little shaky. Yeah, look at all that. Would you just look at it? Just look at it already, he said. <laughs> there, now you can really see them big choppy suckers. So it's around 6.30 here at Riverview Campground. And this is what we got. A picnic table straggling over there. The dumpster's blocking the way now so that I can't uh, bring the van down here. Or even get the bus out. But Actually, I can. It, it looks like I could actually drive out now. You know, if the dumpster wasn't in the way anyway. So I was down here at six o'clock, and uh, it's went down just a little bit more. You could just uh, kind of see the tops of these rocks. So I'd say it's went down another three inches anyway. I mean, them rapids are something else right there. And this is uh, April the 20th, uh, 2019. As far as the public goes, I don't know how long it'll be before that gets released. Because, uh, well... I really want to do one of those on the road vlog things, but uh, I don't like stalkers and stuff, so you know, I'll just wait until I'm done with that part of my life, and then I'll start posting these kind of adventures. So uh, this is the uh, third flood we went through, not here though. The other two were at another camp, Camp Renfro, which is like the worst place we've ever been. I mean, it was good there at first, like a lot of things, it turned rotten real quick. I'm 
there was a fence here and the river ate it. I saw it just being pushed around after it had already been knocked down. I think, it, I think about half of it might be missing. The residents here are really nice and very, very friendly and willing to help us out, offering us another place to stay and all. Uh, I, I can't say anything bad against the park. Other than, you know, it gets busy, but it's awesome when it's uh, just uh, us down here because there's not many that many people that are long-termers, so they're just up on the hill. And, you know, they weren't really affected by any of this right now. Uh, I don't have any electric. And because I pulled my bus back, uh, I don't have any hookups right now at all. That's okay, though. There wasn't no damage to it. It only got, uh, I don't know, an inch and a half to two inches in the stairwell at the most. There's a, there's a ring around it. <laughs> kind of like soap scum, except, yeah, it's not soap. It's some kind of pollution scum, probably. It's just trying to see an easier way to walk a little closer to over here, maybe get some better pictures and stuff. But some of the gravel's been washed out and some of it hadn't, so this is kind of what I was worried about when I went to pull out. I was afraid there wasn't any gravel. I mean, it's taken some of it, but. There's still some there too. Um, rivers are pretty, but I ain't gonna live that close to one let it uh, consume me. If I'd have really tried, we would have gotten out, but uh, I didn't know what was really under there, and I just decided that I didn't think it was going to get it get inside, and well, it really didn't anyway, so if I'd have just pulled up yonder, it wouldn't have helped me, really. Then I would have to just try and get it. I don't know if I, could, if, if, there's a, if I could turn it around without it getting stuck or not. Sorry I'm having trouble with my words. It's a little chilly this morning. I've been up all night, so. Yeah, the uh, uh, breaker box over there has been pushed over by the current. Once upon a time, it was straight unless whoever pulled out, well, they didn't pull out and do that. Never mind. It's leaning the wrong way, right? <laughs> I was just looking at other stuff while I was talking, but there's a good current that came through here, that's for sure. Push this disconnect box out, or well, over, whatever. This camera is something awful too, by the way. Uh, so, it's part of the reason I don't make many YouTube videos, but probably by the time I've actually released this to the public, I've probably gotten me some new gear. But, uh, we saw like things like a whole tree go down the river, but nobody's camping or nothing like that. There was, like, there was a whole bunch of people in here. It was more than half full anyway. People was just outside having a good old time. And I laid down, had me a, had me a nap. And my wife woke me up and told me I'm, we're gonna have to leave. The river's getting up real quick. So about an hour to an hour and a half of napping went from everybody having a good time to everybody running off. So all the short timers left, and all the uh, month to month and long timer here. We go talk. To Okay, I was talking to a neighbor, and uh, it's went down just a little more. It is 7 o'clock on the dot now. Obviously in the a.m. And I'm standing over here at the beach bathhouse. Oh, yeah. Look at this log that got deposited here. I mean, it was just back yonder in the parking space. Uh, divider, but 
And then when I got relocated. If you look, there's another uh, breaker box that's uh, pushed over. And there's another one that's pushed over. I hope he didn't lose any of his picnic tables. At least there's several out here. I count, counted five from my window, and I think I see five now. That don't mean that that was all he didn't get or whatever over here on this little section. Man, look at the rapids. I'm going to try to zoom in, but my camera might pop me. Focus is. Sorry about that. There we go. This park's going under uh, new ownership, so hopefully it stays nice and stuff. I feel sorry for the the uh, older gentleman that's uh, just waiting to hurry up and retire and be done with all this. Uh, I feel sorry for him that he's going to have to fix all this so that he can hurry up and change hands with this uh, new owners. At least it left his dumpster pad. <laughs> I think it's in the same place still. I, I will eventually open the bathroom door to look inside, but I'm not going to get my feet soaked to do it. I know everybody that's watching is probably thinking, gee, I wonder what it looks like in there, because the water most certainly did get up inside the building, so that, they've probably made it uh, ready for something like that. I'm sure they thought that this might happen to it at some point in July, so... There was rapids running through here. Now it's uh, now it's just a nice steady stream. Even though it uh, sprinkled and rained some all night, pretty much. Uh, the river continued to subside anyway, so definitely praise the Lord Jesus Christ for that blessing. Definitely been praying for other people that I know had to have been affected much more harshly than I. expect to see more of them things then. I mean, I reckon they burrow in the ground from the things that stick out of their nasty looking body. <laughs> everything that's in the ground is going to have to come up now. So that means all of us will get to deal with gobs of ants. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Man, my little girl's going to be so happy. It don't take much. <laughs> at least at this age, anyway. When they get to be teenagers, I'm sure it gets more more expensive. More like 
having three preteen kids, right? Time now, my wife should be calling me, asking me what's going on over here. No, she probably has a good idea we're all right because I already talked to her. I don't know. Three o'clock, maybe. Told her it's going down, no worries. I could have just went on to sleep and just not even fretted it, man, but. If you know you ought to stand guard, you probably should, right? I'm definitely a on the tireder side, but not nearly as bad as I thought I'd be. God let me make the use, most use out of that power now. And there you got some cable and exposed for the TV system. Systemification. Got a floating sign over here. Gee, I wonder what that one is. Oh, no, it's a cooler lid, it looks like. Or I don't, oh, it's actually covered for something. Let's go over there and get wet, get wet to try to retrieve something stuck in, secured to the ground that didn't come floating down the river. Huh. So yeah, just down here scavenging. You never know what you can find to lay in. And on top of it, you know, somebody might have lost something. They might be looking for it. It'd be nice to be able to give it back to them because they're calling for more of this kind of fun. So, if it ain't found, it may not. Be, it may get swept down the river, found by somebody that couldn't even try to get it back to the original owner. Maybe even. It's like I already have a propane tank that was under my bus and it made it sound like I was on a ship as it kept banging against the side of it and stuff until I got in there and figured out what it was and uh, yeah lo and behold a 30 pounder yeah I want it but I've already been telling all my neighbors if somebody's missing one then uh, they just need to come see me and I'll let them have it back man that one got destroyed right there He's got a leak right there. That's the uh, water line. I wondered why I was getting such crappy water pressure when I used the bathhouse. I needed something with the blame uh, water was stopping the water. <laughs> and there's my wifey. I'll make more video later. So that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your time. If you like my stuff, then check out the front of my channel there and check out the different playlists that I have. I try to categorize my videos best I can so that they're easier to find based on what your preferences are. Uh, I've also got Christian videos on there. I strongly urge you to check those out as well. If you want to learn more about my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I also pray that He richly blesses you and your families, then check out bloodboughtbornagain.com. Again, that's bloodboughtbornagain.com. And click on the Salvation tab to learn how to be saved if you aren't born again already. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Y'all take care.